Hey guys, here I am, and while you guys are about to watch the Robert Height interview, and while Robert Height is a, he's a top fuel funny car driver, so those are like a big deal, and while I, it was a, so when I was sitting next to him and talking to him and doing this interview, it was, it was just amazing, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like anything else, and it was just absolutely amazing, it was so fun. And, well, I would like to give a huge thanks uh, to Rec Trailers for letting me be a part of this interview. And I would also like to give a thanks to uh, John Force Racing Team for taking the time with Riley Braxton and I to do this interview. And, you know, the being doing it with friends like Riley and Braxton, they're my best friends on the track and off the track. So doing it with them just made it even more fun and enjoying it, you know. And another thing is John Force Racing. What makes John Force Racing so great, not only the drivers, not only the crew, but the people behind all those, the people behind the scenes, like Kevin and Hope, they do multiple things in the John Force Racing team. And I would like to thank them for giving me the time and showing me and showing us around um, the pits and things. So I would love to, um, I would love to just give Right Trailer, Jean Forest Racing Team, and Kevin and Hope to a uh, big thank you for everything that they've done for Riley Braxton and I. And well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, with friends, it's so much more. So in this video, you're gonna see some even rapid fire questions like what's your favorite pizza topping, things like that. And then you're gonna see more in-depth questions like what was the biggest challenge being a driver? So I hope you guys enjoy this. And well, I know you guys will. So make sure to go to my channel, give it a subscribe, and make sure to like this video. I'm Robert Knight, driver in the Auto Club Chevy Camaro Funny Car for John Force Racing. I'm Braxton Scott, Junior Drags Driver. I'm Riley Scott, Junior Drags Driver. I'm Victoria Beater, and also a Junior Drags Driver. What was the biggest challenge as a driver when you first started? Just, you know, keeping it in the groove. The funny cars, you know, 125 inch wheelbase, it's short, it wants to move around, and, you know, you've got to learn to keep it in the groove, but do it, you know, not not so aggressively that you smoke the tires. So if you make big, big moves in there, you know, you're unloading the chassis and the tires, and you'll smoke the tires. So you got you got to stay ahead of the car. And you see it move, you got to be on top of it. That means having your eyes way down right in the racetrack, because they, these cars are accelerating faster than your brake process. So, the biggest thing was to get your eyes out there and then things just slow down. But, uh, you know, the best advice I ever got was, you know, try to make 50 runs as quick as you can and as close together as you can so that you kind of experience all different scenarios. And that way, if, you know, if it happens again, you're, you're used to it and you can learn from it. So, that was really good advice. So, what advice do you have for young racers like us? You know, uh, it's 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 really just about having fun, okay? Uh, my daughter and I raced from when she was eight years old until she aged out, and the, so the best times we had together was uh, not even at the racetrack. It was traveling up and down the road and getting to the places and talking and just you know a lot of father daughter time. It's really cool, but. Um, you know, you meet a lot of nice friends, yeah. and you know, my daughter, her still, some of her best friends come from juniors, not from school. So, uh, you know, interact with all the kids and have some fun, and the lens will come. Yeah. What goes through your mind when you're in the staging lanes and when you're pulling up to that tree? So in the staging lanes, when I'm in the tow vehicle, is when it kind of all starts for me. Uh, I'm listening to the broadcast and hearing what other cars are running. I also have a radio in the, in the suburban that I can hear what my crew chiefs are talking about with our track guy landing. So you're just trying to get your head in the game and, and be prepared for what's coming at you. you know? uh, are you going to have to pedal the car? Is it, you know, it's a tricky track condition. Just being ready for everything. Uh, you know, once the car starts, it's it's not hard for me to focus because, you know, this thing is 12,000 plus horsepower and uh, it's, a, it's a real machine. So doing the same thing over and over and having a routine to where you're consistent and that's what drag racing is all about as you guys know the juniors consistency 
Yep. Uh, the car has to be consistent, the driver has to be consistent, and it's, it's no different with what we do. So what was your first car and the way in the industry behind it? So my first car was a 66 Plymouth Belvedere that was, uh, was purchased new in the family. It was my uncle's car. And then my dad and I restored it when I was uh, started on it when I was 15 years old and got it finished. We worked on it slowly and to where when I turned 16 it was done. But uh, I learned a lot about uh, mechanics and working on cars. And that actually that car is uh, what you know made me realize that this is what I want to do for a living. I want to be around race cars and mechanics and, and learn about this stuff. Didn't ever think I'd get to drive. That was just, uh, it happened later. Uh, I really liked mechanics and being a part of the racing team. So now we're going to move on to some rapid fire questions. And the first one is, if you could go anywhere on the world, you know, where would you go? Um, to another drag race. <laughs> of course. Beach or mountains? Uh, mountains. What is your favorite track and why is it? I like Charlotte. Uh, this place, this facility is the nicest facility we go to. I mean, it's just top of the line. The fans are great. I like that it's kind of right in this town of Concord, and there's everything you need right here. Uh, it's, it's the perfect race we get for me when I come to Concord. What's your favorite hobby outside of racing? Uh, shooting. I like to shoot trap. That's just shotguns. Uh, shooting clay carpets. My wife and I do that. What is your favorite TV show? TV show. Um, I don't watch a lot of TV. Baseball. I like watching sporting events. Uh, baseball and football, things like that. What is your favorite movie? Movie. Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. What's your favorite pizza topping? Probably mushrooms. I like sausage and mushroom. Cat or dog? Dog. What is your favorite singer or band? Uh, the Eagles. Okay, I'm a big Eagles fan. I like going to, to those concerts. I uh, went earlier this year, and they have a song that fits this sport perfectly. It's uh, called Life in the Fast Lane. What was your favorite school subject? I like math. Yep, and you use a lot of math in drag racing, right? That makes sense. <laughs> That's very true. Thank you, Robert Hyatt. That concludes our interview. Thank you. Thank you, yes, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, Junior Racing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.